Hello and welcome to Delta Time Value to detect latency problems. Now in this video we are going to take a look at couple of points. We are going to learn about Delta Time Values and how we can calculate these Delta Time Values inside Wireshark that I'm going to explain you here in this video. So again you can open your Wireshark and you can simply grab some packets inside it. So guys I'm inside my Windows 10 machine and we already have some packets inside Wireshark you can see here right so first of all you can see here that this is red color so let me change the color so that we can view the packets properly let me change the color so view coloring rules let me select the HTTP because we have changed the color that's why let me change it again click on background select any color for example blue click on the foreground let's make it black and click OK. Now we can watch the HTTP or TCP packets properly. All right. Now you can see here first of all in the time this is time and we are talking about delta time values. So what is delta time? Delta time is basically the interval between two packets. For example, I got the first packet at zero second and I got the second packet at two seconds. So what is the delta time? Two minus zero equal to two second, right? So this is basically delta time. Now you can see here in the time, this is not delta time, right? This is basically the time from the starting. So what you can do here, you can simply click on view, then you can select time display format and you can click on second since previous displayed packet, right? By default, it is second since beginning of capture. Now you can simply click here second since previous displayed packet and then you will get this time. Now this is basically delta time. So the delta time you can see in the second 0.17, third 0.18, fourth 0.12, right? So this is not from the beginning. This is basically a difference between third and fourth, fourth and fifth, fifth and sixth, sixth and seventh, and so on. This is called delta time, all right? Now why delta time is an issue? For example, if times are, if packets are taking too much time, then it is an issue inside network. For example. The network can be slow that's why we are not able to capture the packets properly and it is taking too much time in the capturing process this is also an issue inside your network so you can check your delta time if it is taking too much time then there is issue inside your network and you need to troubleshoot it all right now if i talk about the io graph so what you can do here you can simply click on statistics click on io graph and here we have the io graph all right now let me disable everything and tick on all packets so this is basically the io graph of all packets right so we have captured the packets and this is the graph between time and packets per second but we are interested in delta time so what i can do here i can simply disable everything and let me create a new graph inside here so Otherwise, select all packets and now click on plus. So first of all, type the display filter. So display filter is TCP dot time underscore delta. So this is the display filter to get the delta time. Now you can change the graph name. For example, graph name is delta time values. Right now you can enter now you can change the color also so select the color right click here click here select the color so for example I'm changing the color and I'm making it yellow color so the delta time value is in yellow color now click OK all right so this is all packets which is enabled now you can select delta time value packets and here you can see that this is in yellow color let me change the color because I'm not able to watch it properly so let's make it blue and click ok now you can see here properly that in blue color which is delta time value so you can see here this is delta time value graph so basically the time between two packets is called delta time values so this is the peak you can see here now let me disable all packets and you can see here this is basically purely delta time value graph packets per second and this is time so you can see here that this is the time where you got the maximum result here and 
this is the minimum result here so that's how you can check that at which time i was getting more packets and then in that particular time interval i didn't get any single packet so if there is any network issue you can simply analyze it using wireshark io graphs because we have already set the display filter of delta time values and this is the simple graph of delta time so delta time is also important and if you want to analyze delta time you can take help of wireshark io graphs in the next video we are going to learn how to analyze and troubleshoot client connectivity issues